do you wish you had good footwork or you want to improve your footwork then watch this video here assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to the channel today's video is all about the footwork okay don't you just wish you had that footwork where you're boxing in you're boxing from here and then also you're back here again okay some people are gifted when it comes to footwork and they just make that boxing look that much better they just add that finesse to boxing okay but there are some that aren't gifted when it comes to footwork but can we all improve our footwork well the answer is yes no matter what your style is whether you're a slugger whether you're an out and out boxer whether you're a counter fighter with a pressure fighter we all need good footwork good footwork to get in and hit the person but also good footwork to get away and escape okay so here is going to be a two-part video part one is all about drills to improve the speed of your feet also building the endurance in your legs so they can carry you longer so when you get to the third round of the fight you're still bouncing on your toes you're still fast in and out and delivering punches okay part two is going to be about the skills and technique of footwork foot defenses and footwork as well learning the names and learning what the techniques are helps you to implement them in your practice okay now often i ask certain people when i've seen something good i ask them what they've done they haven't got a clue so knowing what you're doing is always helpful when it comes to your learning as well so stay tuned guys for your footwork video i hope this helps you okay so part one is drills for your footwork so i'm just going to use the aid of this plate okay to help us you can use a plate you can use a marker on the floor you can use a line as well okay but i'm going to start on this and i'm going to transfer on the line to sh show you how it's done you can even use a, a medicine ball okay which is a bit trickier but it's good to actually control your footwork on them so we're going to start off with 30 second drills okay the first 30 seconds all i want you to do is quick step up on off okay quick step up on, on and off okay non-stop once you've done that for 30 seconds to a minute then the same step i want you to do it while rotating clockwise and anti-clockwise okay so it looks like this okay so you do that for 30 seconds to a minute one way 30 seconds to a minute both way now you start off on 30 seconds but then you want to increase it to a minute each so then you can build that endurance in your legs the strength the speed into your legs as well okay once you've done that then you're going to go into your boxing stance the front foot is going to be on the plate and i want you to go forward and transfer your back leg onto the plate so from here quick step forward quick step back okay and your whole body moves with you okay as soon as the back foot comes close i gotta move my front leg boom as soon as my back my front leg comes back change over i don't come on together then step off no as soon as i know i'm come forward i change okay the other thing i'm still the other thing i'm moving my body with my legs i'm not just standing there and my legs are going but my body's staying okay i'm not just doing that my whole body is moving as one with my legs okay there nice and easy with my legs okay once you've done that then you can do side widths as well just to add that bit of a different dynamic to it so from here side step out yeah you can do slowly one at a time pause or you can just non-stop as soon as you just touch go this way helps with the legs a bit more okay so what you're working on here as well is the reaction time with the ground as soon as your foot touches boom you got to go again because that's what boxing is all about you're constantly bouncing 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 you got to react into the punches all to react and defend away from the punches as well okay so once you've done them on a plate let's transfer them onto a line okay so right in front of me i've got a line here okay so i'm gonna stand my front foot i'm gonna stand my front foot on the line okay and then i'm gonna go forward my back foot's gonna be on the line my whole body's gone forward back again there nicely 
Okay, quick step, quick step. The lighter you are on your feet, the better. There, nice and easy. Okay, what helps is now and again, turn all the way around. Yeah. Okay, all the drills that you can do on a plate, you can do on a line as well. Okay, okay, now on to part two. So part one was just drills to get you warmed up, get your legs loosened, okay? Different drills there, just keep doing them, keep doing them, and change them up, and it'll help you to get your feet moving faster, your hip flexors used to it, your legs more used to it, and build endurance on your legs as well, okay? So now I'm going to go into the skills and technique when it comes to footwork. The first one is a very basic one that you'll see in boxing when it comes to amateur boxing. Okay, it's just a constant bouncing one foot to the other foot. Some people make this look easy and they box with their style. Okay, and they're often in, punch and back out quickly before you can even catch them. Okay, so what I want you to do is get into your boxing stance. Okay, so if I do it this way, all it is is jumping from one foot to the other foot, front foot, back foot, okay, in your guard, okay, so butt, jump, side, to front to back, there, okay, now, it's good to have a, a line, okay, so you stand in front of the line, and then you just jump to the, over the line, and back, okay, now I'm not bringing my foot back, okay, it's, I'm staying in the stance, and I'm jumping together in that stance and out there okay now what this does is it's good for when you're not punching gain bouncing because when you're moving you can move away from the person faster okay now if this is your style then this is one of the first things you've got to adopt if this is not your style you can still do the rest of the footwork drills and skills and technique even from a standing position from here okay but it's good to get this practice in front foot back foot Okay, the next step, once you've done the front foot, back foot, I want you to move around in the style, okay? So, let's say if I start from facing this way, front foot, back foot, and eventually, I'm moving around. Okay, so I'm watching my opponent. I'm watching him. He's there. He moves around. So, I'm watching him constantly. Okay? And I can even start going forward and back. Forward and back. Watching him again, forward, back, forward and back, okay? Practice that movement, just solely focusing on that. And then once you're used to it, start adding punches into it as well, okay? Punch, then move, okay? Try not to punch on the move, okay? You want, to st you want yourself stationary, punch, 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 then move out the way, okay? Skill number two and three, I'm going to show you break them down and then i'm going to add them into this bounce that i've just done so the first one is a step back okay so let's say for example i'm facing my opponent from here okay i'm boxing from here i'm in range okay as soon as he punches i want to take a step back and then back again and punch him now i've gone from the my beginning stance i've gone back out and i've gone back to the beginning okay i've not gone past okay i've not gone back and stayed there I've actually brought my legs back to where they were from the beginning. So, your stance, okay? I'm punching, punching. I'm waiting for him to punch. As soon as he punches, step back, back, boom, okay? Step back, boom, okay? That's a step back, okay? Using one foot, my front foot stays closer so I can get straight into the punches and counter-attacking. The pushback, we use two feet, okay? So, I'm going to show you here where my heel is on the line okay the same principle i'm punching the person i'm waiting for him as soon as he punches i push back and forward again okay back forward now it's good to use a line so my heels on the line at the start when i jump my toes on the line so i've just moved a few inches okay because you want to get used to going out just enough that the punch misses you and you can get back in and attack if you end up jumping too far then you got to you got to get that range back before you can even punch him. It takes too long, okay? So that's a step back and a push back. And now I'm going to put it in with the bounce that I just did first, okay? So I'm bouncing, okay? 
I'm bouncing, I'm throwing some punches, boom, I'm bouncing again, opportunity comes, step back, bang, bounce again, step back, bang, step back, bang, step back, bang, bang, step back, bang, okay, that's a step back, now I'm going to have the push back in as well, so I'm bouncing around, punch comes, push back, bang, bang, Push back, bang, bang. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. Okay, so I'm loving the bang, bangs. Apologize, but just adding a bit of sound effects to it. So that's learning the bounce, the step back, and the push back in there. Now you can do the step back and push back without the bounce. You can just stand there, wait for your opponent. If this is your style, step back, bang. Move around again, push back. Back, bang, bang. So you don't need to do it with the push back, but it's good to learn it with the push, with the bouncing back and forward. Okay. <coughs> Next step is the side step. Okay. So I'm going to face the front of the camera. Okay. The side step is moving to an angle, either escaping or moving to an angle and attacking. So I'm going to go to the left hand side. I'm going to use my left foot, step to the side, punch back out. Okay, I'm waiting, waiting. The punch comes at me. I step to the side, back out. Okay, if I want to go right, use my right leg. Okay, punch is coming. I step to the right, punch is going over. Okay, so punch, step to the right, bang, back in again. Now, my back foot, I'm not going, I'm becoming level with my front foot. Okay, it's literally going to the side in a line. Step to the side, in line. Okay, same with my left, front leg. Just following the line out, punching. Now, if my opponent moves, I may need to move side and forward, okay? Side and forward. I may need to. That's based on the opponent in front of you. Second thing to note is some people can sidestep with one foot and they're absolutely fine. Sidestep one foot and fine. Some people may need to do both feet, okay? So from there, sidestep both feet, punch and back. Sidestep both feet, punch back okay so if you prefer if you prefer both feet by all means use both feet to step outside okay so you're boxing here you step your side punch back out you move again step your side back out okay step the other side bang okay step with both feet bang okay so that's side step okay again you can do this with the bounce okay if you're used to the bounce Side steps, bang, back on the bounce, move to the side, bang. If you can't do the bouncing, if that's, if that's not your style, then just do it without the bounce, side stepping, okay? Next one, next two, I'm gonna show together. I'm gonna break them down and then put them in together with the, with the, the shadow boxing. Okay, so the first one is a pivot, okay? Which is using the front leg, my heels lifted up. When the punch comes, I pivot on the front leg move my leg back out here now you can use it just to evade the punch so i'm here the punch is coming i cover it with my front hand as it comes i move it to the side the punch has gone there or i can use it to actually create an angle and attack so i'm standing here punch comes i i i, I cover with my left hand i pivot and punch okay some people or some situation you might have to step to the side as well so step cover punch absolutely fine you can pivot to the other way as well okay but with the other way i prefer to use my left leg stepping to the side and dipping and then pivoting around and coming from this angle okay so from here the punch is coming i step pivot and angle and punch okay you can't just do it on its own on the just the front foot pivoting punching okay it's a bit harder but it can still be done okay so pivot is the number first step Second step is called the L step or a switch step, okay? So if you imagine this L here, line here, line here, it's good to have two lines to work on. But if you haven't, then just imagine the L shape in front of you. So you're standing in your stance, okay? Now, my front leg comes back, and before it touches, or just about touches, my back legs move to a side, and I'm gonna change my stance, and I'm facing this way now, okay? 
So I'm, I'm facing this way. I move back, change my stance, and now I'm facing this way here. Now this one is good to create an angle, but also good for escaping as well. So in fast motion from here, I step back and change, okay? Go again, so I'm in boxing stance, okay? I go back, go back, change steps, and I'm facing this way. So if I'm fighting somebody, as it comes rushing onto me, I can change steps, hit him from an angle, okay? Or you can just do it. A lot of people do this for a reset as well. So a lot of people are boxing, they're just moving around, they're not punching, neither is the person punching, and all of a sudden, they want to move, so they come out, change steps, and move around. So they go in again, and they go out, change steps, and do it. So it's also good for a reset as well, okay? Now, let's point in a bit of footwork movement. So I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm punching, the person punches, pivot, boom, punch. I'll step away, see how I just did it naturally? Okay, let's do the L step. So moving, the person comes running, L step, bang, back in again, okay? Pivot, bang, L step, bang, bang. So you can do them together as well. Okay, so the last one I wanna work on is the, what I call is a side stepping escape, okay? This is when the person rushes you and you step back, especially when you're on the ropes, this is a way to get away and out and around, okay? Now, if I call the side stepping because if you do this in your boxing stance, it's very awkward, okay? Trying to come here and move around, it's awkward, okay? Some people can do it, some people can't. An easy step is, let's say, for example, I'm here, the person rushes against me, I take one or two steps back, I change my angle, so now I'm front on, okay? My hands up, and I just side step across and out. Okay, so when it's in the fast motion, it looks like this, so I'm boxing the person, he puts pressure on, step back, side step, gone. And I'm at this angle here now, okay? Go back, back, side step, gone. Now, I can do one way, I can do one way, and I can do the other way. The other way, which is my right, the L step or the switch step comes handy in this, okay? So I'm boxing here, I'm standing, the person steps forward, I step back, switch step, and I'm around, side stepping. And what I call side stepping is this part here, side stepping, yeah? Now, you can do one way, you can do the other way. Also, you can go one way and then quickly move the other way. So let's say, for example, the person's cotton onto me moving back and going towards my left, okay? So what I could do is go that way and then quickly move and change stance. So it would look like this. From here, side step back, change angles, stop and then go again, okay? So these are some steps that you can learn what they are and put them into practice, okay? And then you can do some shadow boxing or you can just do the shadow boxing without the punching and just focus on the footwork. But eventually you wanna put your punching and your footwork together. That way you will truly learn how to do it and improve as a boxer as well. So let's see if I can put all that together in a bit of footwork as a demonstration for you. Okay, let's go. Just practicing footwork can be tiring. Okay, so go ahead. 
learn these steps, put them into practice, and hopefully your shadow boxing, your boxing on the bag, pad work, your sparring overall improves. Okay. Like always, guys, like, share, subscribe. I appreciate your support. I'm putting the effort and time in here. As you can see, I'm getting out of breath. So I'd appreciate your support by watching this and leaving a comment, sharing, subscribing. Any ideas or comments you got, please send them through as well. Until next time, guys, see you soon. Assalamu alaikum.